So you may have seen posts over the last few days, there's been a change to Facebook's privacy policy where they're able to use your data, yes, your data, anything you put on there, anything entered into Facebook, all your privacy data, all of that to train their new AI models. Same on Instagram as well. And what I'm gonna do on this video today to help you guys out because you know what we're like here. We want to keep ourselves safe online. I'm gonna show you how you can opt out of this. This will help stop them using your data. They will either approve it or not approve it. So do your best, but I'm gonna show you where to find the setting and how to do it. Quickly before we do that one though, if you can, obviously, if you're brand new here, do remember hit that subscribe button. We cover streaming, we cover security, and we cover tutorials to keep you safe online, everything like that. But a lot of the stuff we normally do is streaming, but I thought this Facebook stuff was very important. So there's a lot of articles popping up about Facebook and Instagram will use your post to train its AI models and how to opt out. So I'm gonna manually show you how to opt out to make it nice and simple for you. Um, I know we have a lot of followers of different age generations um, and let me know how you find this tutorial. If you are on Facebook, we're on Facebook, The Real Doc Swiffy. Link is underneath for you as well, but it's not about that. It's about getting this turned off. So I'm going to show you on a PC website, but I'll also link you to an article which will describe all of it afterwards as well. Okay, so if you're on the website, you go to your account and in your account up here, you need to go down to settings and privacy. Once in here, you need to go to the privacy center, which brings you to a whole new page, okay? Once on this whole new page, you need to go to privacy policy. And what in here, there's one called, what is the privacy policy and what does it cover? Click that and you'll come to this page. But right at the top, small as always, you have the right to object. In here, it explains what it's changing. Um, it explains what we collect, well, not we, me, what they collect and it explains all the different stuff in here about the AI and everything like this and how do we use your data and how you have the right to opt out. So if you click on right to opt out, so object to your information being used for the AI at Meta. You have to do this off your private account and that will cover any pages you may have. You have the right to object to Meta using your information you shared on our products and services to develop and improve AI at Meta. You can submit this form to exercise that right. AI at Meta is our collection of gener generative, I'm so bad at talking in the mornings, AI features and experiences like Meta AI and AI creative tools along with the models. Information you shared on our products and services could be things like posts, photos and their captions, messages you send to an AI. We do not use your content of private messages with friends and family to train our AIs. We will review your objection request in accordance with relevant data protection laws. If your request is honored, it will be applied going forward. We may still process some stuff if it's shared elsewhere. So you need to select the country. So obviously I'm United Kingdom. Um, email address. So put your email address in, which is your um, one for the site. I'll put mine in there quickly now. So make sure that's linked to your account. Please tell us how this processing impacts your you. Well, I'm gonna put in there about GDPR data protection laws and things like that. So I'm gonna find a quote. So I'm gonna paste in here the data protection laws for the UK. So I put that all in there, Data Protection Act. Um, on the article I will link you to, um, which is linked underneath, I'll add this on there for you as well. Okay, not a problem. And I'm gonna add a little note of, in this one, Due to the data protection rules, laws, I do not feel these will be followed. To train, to train AI, to protect my rights and information. I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to submit it. And let's see what they say. Right, so they send you a thingamajig, an OTP, so that comes to your email. Let me just get that one up as well. I'm doing this live as we're on, well, not live, but you know what I mean. Uh, let me find that one then. Please verify your email address. So I get a code. I will have to blur these ones out, I'm afraid. I can then submit. Let's see what happens. So now we wait for the review. 
Um, I will update you all on my social medias as soon as I get the reply to the review. Um, you may have got a point saying they've updated their emails through, saying they're updating their privacy policy anyway, but who knows? Okay, so my Facebook link will be underneath for you, um, where I'll update you if I get approved and if it gets opted out. My The post on how to do things will be underneath for you as well. That will talk you through how to do it on Android and iPhone for if you do not have access to a PC to do it, okay? That will be linked underneath as well. Um, there's many articles out there. Again, what I would recommend in your country is look up your data protection laws and just paste that into the options available. Brilliant. Obviously, data protection online is very important to all of us. That's why we do partner up with a IP Vanish VPN. This also helps protect your data online. So if you are concerned about your data, do remember to get yourself a VPN. It'll be linked underneath. This is the cheapest price for a VPN. You can use all, all devices from Apple to PCs to Fire Sticks to mobile phones. And you only have to sign up once and you can use it on unlimited devices. So that's linked underneath for you as well. We are partnered with them, so we do get a small commission. That's linked under there for you as well. Brilliant. I hope that helped you. Um, that was a step-by-step -step guide, maybe a little bit long-winded. If you struggle, watch it again. Really appreciate if you share it because the more people who see this, they will opt out and that will keep their data safe as well. Hopefully, we can hopefully opt as many people out as possible. Like I say, I'll update you on my socials when I'm opted out and if they approve mine. And going forward, let's hope we can get you all opted out. Remember the articles underneath to get more information on how to do it. Thank you for watching. I've been Doc Squiffy. I'll see you soon.